And we're committed to you here at Fox Carolina. Greenville County Council adopted the first affordable housing policy almost a year ago. Uh, the goal is to incentivize developers to offer affordable units in exchange for a tax break. This week, council approved a tax break on a controversial development in West Greenville, but that vote wasn't unanimous, and some leaders are now questioning how effective this new policy will be. Tonight, Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris shows us why. All those in favor of adoption say aye. Seven to five, county leaders split over a tax break for Woven. The 214 unit West Greenville project was scrutinized by neighbors for months before city council narrowly approved it in January. Using the county's affordable housing policy, 44 units will be priced based on income. But even with the affordable housing component, the rental is still around $1,200 and there's a lot of people in that community that say they can't even come close to affording that. So who is it affordable for? Councilman Benton Blunt voted no and so did Alan Mitchell who feels the developer could have done more. If he really wanted to do something for affordable housing, in my mind he should have come with a package that says, okay, this part meets your policy requirement, but I'm going above and beyond. Developers can choose different levels of affordability guided by the area median income. Mitchell says Woven meets the basic affordability requirements to receive the tax break. You don't work towards the C just so you can pass the course. You work towards that A or B. Even though most leaders seem to agree the policy is a step in the right direction, the question now is, is there a way to make it better? And does this mean going back to the drawing board? This is not going to solve the total housing problem, but I can, I don't, I don't like you here, I'm, I'm confident that it will help, it's not going to hurt. Councilman Chris Harrison and Ennis Fant led the policy. Both say they're open to see it improve. Mitchell suggests encouraging deeper affordability, and Blount would like to see home ownership included. I think that they're trying to do the best they can with what they have. The affordable housing in itself isn't affordable, so it's really not doing a service to the people that need it the most. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.